it is because of you who have so much interest and who are asking. And the question, of course, is again, what is it about 2012? But 2012 is not the ending. If you are being brainwashed, that, that is the ending. And by the way, the ending of what? You see, the planet hasn't risen a flag anywhere and stop signs like we have of stop signs on the road in Canada where it says stop and then you can go stop. No stop signs from the planet. Stop signs, yes, from the abusers and, and the misusers of our planet. You must be the one you choose what it will be next. You can, of course, totally change the course you choose now. It is not too late. You are being brainwashed into it is too late. You have to now jump in from religion into Buddhism, other form of religion, and your mind is kept busy, 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 busy with all kinds of things irrelevant to your soul. You need to be looking at the relevance of the preciousness of your soul, of your spirit. You can change the course. Please listen. You choose now like never before. It's not too late. Don't, don't buy it. Wake up and know that it is the great agenda that is being played by the New World Order. Read my book. When you read my book, you get a good and swift idea. You need to be in balance and not, of course, herded like sheep. You are now in the very, very great war, the great war of the gods and the different gods. Remember when I told you so many times, there are many gods and which god when we go to every country in the world we find different gods and uh, you know in Norway we know there's a place they have a, a, a solid gold goat and this goat that at one time was worshipped and maybe it is prepared to be worshipped again because it is sitting in a, in a cellar, in a basement. No one can go there. Even the Norwegian people can't go there. But I know those who have seen it and they are intelligent. So you need to come to the place to understand that this is a war of the gods. You need to come, of course, very, very much so in wisdom and wanting to break the control over the planet and to reclaim the resources and end the slavery, the control, the true religions, you know, the, the control that's taking place through the religions and the churches and all this what is taking place and the killer wars of all the precious people that are in these wars, as I spoke about, uh, of course, uh, Afghanistan. And many years ago, I took in a refugee from Afghanistan, and uh, he was a refugee in SKP from the Russians, a victim from the Russians, when they invaded Afghanistan and the horrors that we did learn from that war. And they have been invaded so many times. It gives us evidence of, of the terrible murder and the control. So now it is t time to you, for you, the, your loved ones and everyone to take co also control. Change the course now through love and peace and aiming for peace, sharing and refusing war. Lift each other up. Don't trample on each other. Step back and stay in true harmony, not hatred, greed, or, you know, be played off by the religions once against the other, Christian versus Muslim, or Jew versus Muslim versus Christian, 
and it goes on and on and on and because we were so ancient and we are not a religion the followers of Zarathustra are not a religion we are not in Mithraism we are not in any of these things other than that we are waiting for the return of the gods <laughs> the gods you have a laugh I do too the spaceships, the space travelers who were believed to be gods coming and returning from the universe. When they said they have found water on the moon. Well, we told you that for many, many years that you could grow food on the moon. But also we have told you there is uh, underground cities on Mars. Underground cities, you say, yes, your planet also went through a stage of tremendous heat and there were beautiful cities because above the ground they were invaded by space travelers that were fighting a war then too. Now I call you, now I aim for your love and respect again because you are the ones to say peace above everything, the ones who seek peace and reach out to Creator. It is your answer, your soul power, not the programming that has been done. And if you want to know for a fact, go to Oaspe. Read Oaspe about Luamong. Then you will understand my prophecies of so many, many years where I am speaking about these gods fighting amongst each other and some of them were not gods because you know what I told you the creation of the Muslim religion was at the time when two popes were fighting my answer to you is seek your soul power not the programming that's going on from Luamang he is here amongst you here on earth and is very, very active because their time is running out. 2012, you know, 2012 where you could choose to have balance and peace and live without fear and welcome the Creator and the beautiful, the space travelers that were here at one time who taught you all kinds of good things so you might have wisdom and empowerment. 